السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس الیونتھ ٹاپک ٹوڈے اوور ٹاپک ان سبجیکٹ ہسٹری ٹوڈے اوور ٹاپک از واٹ ویر دا مین فیکٹرس آف دا رائز آف رینسنس ان یورپ ایز یور فیملیئر دیٹ اٹ واز فورٹین ففٹی تھری ان اٹلی دا رینسنس ٹیکس پلیس and with the passage of time it reached every country of the Europe in no time and got tremendous growth because the Greek scholars and the English scholars they were uh, separating the Renaissance in first in no time and it was uh, we find that in 14th and 15th century renaissance was in every corner of the European countries. Now, today we will discuss what were the factors which were responsible for the growth of renaissance. Number one is decline of feudalism. Feudalism. As you are familiar that feudalism was gripped the whole European nationness and divided the nation into many small kingdoms and they were always in wars. But the rise of nation status and is the uh, feudal, feudalism or the superiority power prestige of feudal lords. Thus it was the first cause because the people thought for their nation known for feudal lords it was first cause first and foremost cause for the rise of renaissance in europe number second is crusades as you are familiar that there have takes many crusades against muslims crusades means the wars which declared by english with muslims in 14th century and they were known as crusades Uh, especially three big crusades takes place and also some minor crusades in which the people met with other uh, nations with other countries with other with other countries of uh, the uh, world thus new ideas new uh, happenings takes place which was also uh, seeded the renaissance in Europe. This was second cause and third cause was one of the most important factor for the rise of renaissance was the expansion. Expansion of the kingdom. The more expansion of the kingdoms in Europe with the rise of nation states The, uh, when the more expansion was taken place, the more ideas, the more thoughts came into being in the scholars of the Renaissance. Because very scholars met with each other with the expansion of kingdoms and they thought new ways of living, new thoughts were came into being with them. Thus, It played great and tremendous role for the uh, rise of Renaissance in India. For example, just like um, if the North, Northern scholars met with Southern scholars, similarly uh, East to West, these scholars met each other at the same platform. They gave new thoughts, new ideas, and thus these helped for the bringing of <clears throat> renaissance in Europe and fourthly it was trade trade relations with distant places the trade which was carrying on by Europe because Europe was the leading at that time in 14th 15th century Europe was the leading power of the world the went beyond their countries, beyond their continent to other parts of the 
world just like Asia, Africa, America, Australia and they got new inputs in their minds, they got new knowledge in their uh, minds, thus with these trade relationship with other parts of the world helped um, the scholars who laid the rise of renaissance in Europe. This was another important cause, trade, because by trade the various scholars met on one side and other side the the knowledge was the the knowledge of different parts of the world was uh, thought and think by these scholars uh, and they got inputs of the rise of renaissance and fifthly the invention of printing press printing press in 15th century the invention of printing press by and large gave boost to the rise of um, rise of renaissance because with the help of printing press the, the uh, scholars the scholars gave their new ideas new philosophy to the people in no time and it reached every corner of the country it reached every part of the city and similarly in the world also thus it provided a faithful way for the promoting of renaissance in europe and sixthly or lastly we can say it was the fall of constantinople fall of constantinople as you are familiar that Constantinople was one of the world's leading power at that time. It was uh, in Turkey and it the fall of when they were defeated Constantinople's uh, rule was lost. It became a great cause for the rise of Renaissance because the texts uh, which Arabian scholars have or Muslim scholars have these textbooks came into the hands of the scholars of English, uh, especially when the uh, constant temple falls. At that time, the scholars, the, um, the educationists, they took the books, uh, all these books, and went to the Europe, France, and where from these books when they when the scholars learn these books, they got the inputs how a renaissance can be taken place, what will uh, help the people, how uh, people helped by these new ideas, new uh, traditions uh, and these renaissance, uh, dinner, these renaissance persons took active part later on and laid the foundation of uh, renaissance in europe which helped europe to become a um, nation where full uh, where it became a people centric not religious centric centric and thus they gave by by eye or taught to the pope's superiority and power thank you this was all for this topic of what were the factors of the renaissance in Europe and how it led the results in the rest of the world too.